Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. With the trending of containerizing applications, setting up your local environment is now easier than ever. We everyone know how to dockerize your application and run it inside Docker container, right? But it's a bit tricky to debug your application which is running inside a Docker container. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps to debug a Spring Boot application which is running inside a Docker container with remote debugging feature. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So at very first step, you need to create a Spring Boot application, then we need to dockerize that Spring Boot application to host in our Docker container, right? Then we can debug it. So to save our time, already I created one small Spring Boot application where I am not using any database and all, I just created one employee repository and I hard code few employee object here, you can see here. And then this is what my employee class, id name, department and email. And if you will go inside the controller class, we have the two rest endpoint. One will return list of employee based on the department and one will notify to the employee based on the department. Okay. Let's say for a developer, I just want to notify some announcement. So I will just face the list of email ID specific to the developer and I can run this logic. This is just a SOPLN statement, but you can execute the exact logic. I just added this dummy piece of code to debug it. Okay. So next to dockerize our Spring Boot application, first we need to write a Docker file. But before that, let me generate the jar of this Docker image debugging application. So if you go to the pom.xml, I will generate a jar name with spring-docker.demo. That's why I just added this final name tag. Now let me execute the maven goal. I can directly execute maven install. Okay. It will just download the jar to my target folder. So it may take few seconds. Let's wait it to complete. Yeah, so you can see here, build is success. Now if you go inside target folder, you will find you will find a jar with name spring docker demo dot jar. This is where the name we mention here. Okay. Now next step, we need to write a docker file. So just right click on the root directory, click on file and give the name docker file. So if you observe D is the uppercase and everything is lowercase. Just enter it. So as part of the docker file, First, we need to specify the from and we are using openjdk8, right? openjdk and I will just specify the version is 8. Now next, what is the port you want to expose? I just want to expose the port 8080 which is my container port and also I just want to expose another port which is 8000. With this port 8000, I will continue my remote debugging, okay? Then next, just add, add and give the directory of your jar file. So it is inside target and the jar name is spring docker demo dot jar. Okay. Then I will just copy this name and I will just add it here. That's fine. Then I will also copy the add and to make the remote debugging, I will just write one SS file or script files which is nothing the shell script so that I can tell to this my docker just enable the debugging for this particular jar okay so for that what I will do I will just create a file here you can give any name for now I will just make it entry point dot sh okay but if you are using windows then you can add this extension as a dot bat which is a batch file just enter it and inside this entry point dot sh I will just add this script here I am telling to this docker execute this java command to enable my remote debugging that is what we are giving here right jdwp java debugging protocol and this is what the address we are giving 8000 that is what we also mention or expose from our docker file and inside that we are giving the jar name spring hyphen docker demo dot jar this is what our target jar right spring hyphen docker demo jar now I just need to add that 
entry point dot sh then i will copy it and i will give it again now next we need to provide the entry point and we will tell to the docker just execute this command so i will just add sh and then i will give this script file to execute when i will just run this particular uh, docker image okay i will just add it so that is what we just added the shell script file which is entry point dot sh where we just tell to the docker run this particular jar on debug mode and we just added that reference in our docker file now the next step we can create the docker image of our application because when you will create the docker image it will search for the docker file so we have this docker file now go to your terminal so before that first let me start my docker desktop now docker toolbox is not supported if you are using windows or mac operating system you must need to download the docker uh, desktop okay you will find both the version for windows and mac as well you can see once it will start you will find this green symbol and if you will go inside images i have this images so i will create image with different name now i will just go to the terminal i will type docker images you can see this image right so i will just give docker i will just create the image docker build hyphen t then give the image name i will just give the name spring docker debugging or something like that then i'll give the version or you can say it is a tag just add the root directory just enter it it will create a docker image for you it will take few second to complete yeah you can see here now if i'll search docker images i can see here right spring docker debugging and tag is 1.0 and 5 second ago we created it next we need to run our docker image so to run the docker image you can fire the command docker run then you can give the port which is 8080 which is nothing our container port right and then you can give the another port where you want to debug your docker image so i'll just give the triple zero eight triple zero and eight triple zero now you just need to give the image name so for us the image name is this copy this paste it here and also you need to provide the tag which is 1.0 fine just enter it you can see here listening let me show you listening for transport dt socket address 8.0 if you are getting this message while boot up your spring boot application then you configured correctly remote debugging okay so you can see here it got started on port 8080 now let's go to the browser we didn't enable the debugging in our application yet okay we are just exposed our docker image with the debugging mode and we specify the port for debugging now if you go to the chrome and if you type localhost if you give 8080 slash employees okay emp l o i e s slash let me check the endpoint go inside the main class okay we just need to provide the department now if you will check the repo the department is something called developer okay you can we have the multiple department developer devops manager and hr you can give any name so i'll just go to the browser i'll just give this okay I added wrongly localhost 8080 slash employees slash developer. You can see the record, right? There are three records with the department developer. And also, if you will try for let me check the DevOps. And if you will go to the browser and change the department, we will find the two object or two employee object with the department devops right so it means our application successfully running on docker container now we need to enable the debug from our id now just click on this edit configuration you'll find the plus icon here just click on it and search something called remote you can see here remote jvm debug just click on this you can give any name i'll just give 
docker remote debugging or something like that you can give any name here and make sure this debugger mode should be attached to remote jvm and give the port which you exposed which is 8000 and you can see here this command will be auto append based on the jdk version what you are using and the host is localhost and this is the module just click on apply click on ok now we enable the debug mode so just start your application or this docker image on debug mode you can see here connected to the target bm address which is triple zero now i will just add a breakpoint in my application so that we can see whether the request is coming to this particular line or not in debug mode so i'll just add everywhere let me add it here these are the java 8 code so i already added the plugin java 8 stream debugger so i can visualize all the value i have already uploaded a video how you can debug the java 8 stream api if you are not aware about it you can check out my tutorial i will also add the link on video description guys okay now let's hit the api let me minimize this yeah just go to the browser i'll just hit this now you can see the request directly came to the endpoint on the debugging mode if i will take this up you can see the value let's step step into the next line you can see here and see if you added the java stream debugger plugin on your intellij i am not sure for the eclipse but if you added you can see this particular icon okay trace current stream chain just click on this we are getting all the employee repository or employee object from the repo then it is still showing the evaluation and process let's wait for a second yeah it will fetch all the list of employee object then it will filter based on your condition we are giving the department filter as a devops so there is two object for devops it will face these two object then it will just return us then close it move to the next this is what it will just return you i will just close this okay now if you go to the browser you can see the response here now i will just give you a developer just enter it request came to the endpoint as you enable the breakpoint here now step into the next line if you will evaluate it you can find entire stream then your filter logic you can see it returns all the employee object then it will just filter based on your criteria we are giving the developer department so it filter three object and it return to you that is that's it it means the debugging is working okay now let's move to the next api to check the debugging so i'll just remove the breakpoint let it be because i am not going to hit this endpoint i'll just copy this and then let me pass this fine go to the chrome then i'll just i'll just add it here notify then department just enter it you can see request came here now let me check whether i added yeah i added the debugger here just step over you can see it came to your repo okay now if you evaluate this it will return you the list of employee then it will filter based on your criteria we provided the department as developer so there is three object for developer then we just want to gather the email id that's the reason i just used map uh, function here okay as a string so you can see here all the developer all the employee object whose department is developer just give me their email id that is why i used map here and then collect it and return it to me as a list of string that is what it is doing close it if you see this logic that is what the functionality so it means the debugging is working here right so let me pass it so if you will see the return type is void you can't see anything okay so this is how you can enable remote debugging for your docker image which is running inside docker container and frankly this is not the recommended way to debug your docker image it may require sometimes on the dev or stage environment but for production environment this is really not recommended you can avoid these steps so i believe these steps is clear for you you can give it a try just create a small spring boot project and then dockerize it you can find all the source code on the video description and try on your machine and do let me know in comment section if you have any doubts 
that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept